Hey guys, Matt here, also known as HR Pup and Stuff. Today I'm coming at you with Modern Warfare 3 Free For All on Resistance, and I will be telling you guys a life story. To kick this off, I got 30 kills and 17 deaths, I believe. Yes. And uh, I was using the P90 with a silencer, and I was using the uh, M911, I believe. Uh, I think that's how you say it. So yeah, I got this through theater mode. And uh, I actually end up using White Boy's Tactics for once. Uh, in Free For All, so... Yeah, so, as you guys know, I'm doing a life story today. The topic is... Uh... Hmm... What should I say? A topic. Is it okay to break stuff if you're really mad? I don't know. Alright, so to kick this off, me and my friends, me and other, some other friends, we uh, like to take stuff from each other. Now, this has been, we've been doing this for like a, a long time. And uh, we made a pact that you can't take any electronics, and you can't take anything over the weekend. But uh, we were pretty bad with this. We would uh, take things for weeks at a time. We would take books and calculators and pencils and crap. And uh, I guess to some people it would get really annoying, but we would uh, we wouldn't take it personally. I mean, it was just a joke. But to one of my friends, he was uh, getting really pissed for some reason. And uh, so I have a Kindle. Yes, I'm a noob. And for all you guys who don't know what a Kindle is. It's basically an ebook or a uh, electronic reading device that you can buy books from Amazon.com and read them. Way funner. It's a way funner alternative to reading books. So, uh, yeah, so one day I take, well, my friend CJ takes a, uh, one of my friend's books. We'll, we'll name him Trevor for now. It takes, so my friend CJ takes my friend's my friend Trevor's book. So it, it's been, he, he's took it for two days, and uh, my friend Trevor is on the last chapter of his book, and he gets really pissed on the fourth day. So he's like, oh, if you don't give me my book back, I am gonna for, I'm gonna be forced to do something that is out of our rules. And our rules, as I said earlier, were no taking electronics. So, that was the only rule that I could think of that um, that he would break on purpose. So, I uh, put my Kindle in my backpack. It was uh, Silent Sustained Reading and uh, my first period class. And I go to the bathroom. And when I come back, my Kindle isn't in my backpack. So I'm really pissed. I'm like, took my Kindle. I mean, we had a rule, no electronics. So, I uh, kind of knew, I had a suspicion, well, obviously, but uh, I kind of knew that my friend Trevor took it, so I was like, Trevor, get back. And he kept on saying that it, he didn't do it. But, uh, knowing the liar that he is, I searched his backpack, and I still didn't find it. So I figured he either gave it to somebody else, or... He is an expert hider. He had a ninja pro on. So, I decided to wait a while. I mean, no one's going to break a $100 Kindle. And I get to 7th period. And my friend is really pissed. He's like, Matt, give me my book. Or else, shit's going down. So, I say, I don't have it. Because, honestly, I don't have it. And I don't know who took it. Well, that's what I said to him, but I didn't really take it. So, what he does next, the event's following, will shock me, and shock you guys too. And it's effed up. He takes out my Kindle, right? And, he sits on it. And, it, as you guys know, it only takes 9 pounds of pressure to break a nose. And imagine how many... How, the, imagine the amount of pressure it would need to break the Kindle screen. It's like breaking a phone screen. 
I mean, it's not that hard. And this kid, Trevor, was about freaking 120 pounds. So, he sits on it, right? And I tell him, get off my Kindle or you're gonna get punched in the face. And what he says is, oh, I don't care. Woo! And he decides to be a dick. So, he jumps on the Kindle again, putting more pressure to it. So, finally, I decide to pressure point him and push him off his chair. I know he's watching. And, uh, finally, I get my Kindle. I open it, open the case, and guess what? The Kindle's fucking broken. There's a huge um, crack in the middle of it. I uh, I guess I'll put, put a picture in a couple minutes. But uh, so yeah, there's a huge crack right in the bottom of the screen from the sitting on it. So I was really pissed, being me. So I was like, "Oh, you fucker! You're gonna fucking pay for this shit!" And I go ahead and uh. I tell my friend to um, never give it back the book, knowing that he destroyed it. And I get extremely pissed. Like, I go home, I don't tell my parents because I don't want them really to get involved. So, I'm wondering what the hell I'm going to do. Because, I mean, I have a shit ton of books on this, and I really like it a lot. And, I mean, it's a hundred dollars, and I don't have my warranty. So, I'm uh, thinking, and I was like, so the next day he comes and apologizes, he's like, oh, stupid, I'm like, fuck you, but, you know. and uh, so I forgive him, I'm like, alright, whatever, man, just pay for it, and then he says he'll pay for it, right? So, the, as you guys, if anyone knows, if you go on Amazon, the uh, Kindle Fire is about to come out tomorrow, or no, it came out today, but still, and uh, this was like three weeks ago, so. Yeah, uh, so the Kindle Fire came out today, but three weeks ago it was available for pre-order. So, my friend's birthday had passed, like, the week before all these events happened. So, I found out from one of my friends that he was going to get the Kindle Fire, my friend Trevor, that broke my Kindle. So that he was going to get the Kindle Fire with the money that he was supposed to pay me back with. So, I didn't think it was true, because he said he'd pay me back. So, I was like, hey dude, are you going to tell your mom? And then he was like, yeah, I will. So three weeks pass. He still hasn't told his mom. So being me, I had to uh, take matters into my own hands. And I had to snitch. It was against the rules, but you know. I mean, he broke my Kindle. Like, he already broke a little of his worse. So I decided that uh, I'm going to tell him and do this. So I told his mom. And she's pissed. And she, I, I actually, the thing that bothered me was that he went ahead and pre-ordered the Kindle Fire with the money he was supposed to pay me back with. But thankfully, he actually, as soon as his mom was like, "Motherfucking fucking look at my fucking ass and get the fucking money out of the fucking pre-order, motherfucker," and uh, so yeah. And he, finally, he pays me back. Well, actually, no, he hasn't paid me back yet, but I will definitely give you guys a status update on um, what the fuck happens. But, uh, yeah, so, a little bit about the gameplay. Uh, I go 30 and 17, as I said, and, uh, this was my fourth time using the P90, I believe. I, uh, I don't think I did too bad with it. But, yeah, I was playing with some noobs. I think. So, yeah. I mean, that was my, uh, scary, uh, scary story. I need to put one of those up soon. So, yeah, um, that was my, uh, life story. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, guys, leave a comment if you guys want me to, um, uh, do a, uh, do a, uh, road to golden gun with maybe the P90 or something. Because I'll to I'm down, I'm totally down to it. I mean, anything for some subs, man. So, yeah. Um, I, uh, I should probably start wrapping up my, uh, little commentary here in a couple minutes. Or soon, probably. And, yeah, I think I wrap up this game, uh, this game soon. Let's see. Do I fail? Oh, no, I don't. Yep, I, so I get first place in this free-for-all. 
I actually do use uh, White Boy Strip 7 Streets tactics for free for all. I usually control one area in the beginning. So, yeah, guys, that was my life story. And uh, I'll give you guys a status update soon. See ya.